Legoland New York is a new theme park that opened on May 29, 2021 in Goshen, New York. The park includes seven themed lands, which will all be extensively covered throughout the rest of this video. Now you might be wondering about what new rides and attractions these lands actually contain, so what we've done here at Theme Park Horizons is sum up all of the information into one video just for you. Now without further ado, let's take an in-depth look at what's on the horizon for Legoland's brand new theme park. First up, there's Brick Street. This land acts as the entrance area to the park, similar to Main Street USA at Disney's Magic Kingdom or Production Central at Universal Studios Florida. This land only houses one attraction, that being Brick Party. This is a small carousel themed to a celebration of all the amazing creations you can make with Lego bricks. Ride vehicles include horses, motorcycles, tigers, chickens, you get the idea. Moving on through the park, we come across Bricktopia. This land houses three rides, one being the park's signature attraction. However, first there's DJ's Dizzy Disco Spin, which is a teacup style attraction. Next, there's the Duplo Express, which is a small train ride which looks to be a very solid family-based attraction that the kids will thoroughly enjoy. Finally, the real star of the show is the LEGO Factory Adventure Ride. You'll get a first-hand view of how LEGO bricks are actually made, and even be turned into a minifigure version of yourself with some first-of-its-kind technology that makes its debut on this attraction. This is a trackless dark ride, similar to Star Wars Rise of the Resistance at Disney's Hollywood Studios and Antarctica Empire of the Penguin at SeaWorld Orlando. This easily looks to be the most visually impressive ride here, and I personally can't wait to see what this ride has to offer whenever I do get to experience it in person. Next up, there's the fan-favorite LEGO Ninjago World. This land can be found at other Legoland parks around the world, like Florida, California, and various other Legoland parks in Europe. The land's anchor attraction is undoubtedly LEGO Ninjago The Ride, which is yet another high-tech dark ride that's sure to thrill everyone who rides it. This attraction has an interactive feature where you, the guest, can shoot the bad guys in the ride alongside the other Ninjago characters. Unlike other shooting dark rides around the world, this one allows you to use your hands as the quote-unquote gun instead of a physical gun or blaster of sorts. Personally, I found this ride to be a little underwhelming as I rode the Florida version back when it opened in 2017. Hopefully New York has made some minor improvements here and there to help this ride live up to its full potential. In addition to LEGO Ninjago the ride, the area also has Jay's Gravity Force Trainer, a nice spinning flat ride that provides the kids with a nice thrill. Past Ninjago, there is the LEGO Castle area. This land includes four different rides and attractions that range from quick flat rides to thrilling roller coasters. First up, there's Merlin's Flying Machines, which is a nice flat ride that the kids will again absolutely love. Then there's the Tower Climb Tournament, which is basically just a reskin of Legoland Florida's Kid Power Towers, where two guests have to work together to hoist themselves up the tower. Finally, there are two roller coasters in this land. First, there's the Dragon, which is a staple at nearly every Legoland park around the world. The Dragon starts with a slow dark ride section through the castle's interior, and then finishes off with a nice thrilling coaster section that will be sure to put a smile on everyone's face by the time you hit the brakes. For kids who aren't just ready yet to take on the dragon, Legoland has constructed the Dragon's Apprentice, which is a much tamer version of the ride. Next up we have the classic Lego City area. This land includes five attractions for the whole family to enjoy together. First there's the Coast Guard Army, which is yet again another reskin of a Legoland Florida attraction, this time being Boating School. Then there's the other Legoland staple, Driving School. This ride offers kids 6 through 13 a chance to, well, learn how to drive. It's a really fun, extremely memorable experience for anyone who rides it. And for kids who just don't quite make that age requirement, don't worry because Legoland has set up a junior driving school for kids aged 3 to 5. This attraction is generally the same as the main driving school but with smaller cars and a smaller track layout. Next there's the Fire Academy, where fitness, speed, and teamwork will all be tested as you are challenged with powering a Lego fire engine and putting out a burning building. This is an extremely physical based attraction that will have you tired by the time you exit your ride vehicle. Finally, in LEGO City, there's the Palace Cinema. This is a theater that showcases various LEGO based films, typically on LEGO City or sometimes the LEGO Movie films. Last but not least, there's Miniland. Along with the Dragon Roller Coaster and Driving School, Miniland is arguably the main staple attraction of the Legoland theme parks. This is a collection of various national landmarks all built with small LEGO bricks by the talented professionals at LEGO themselves. These locations range from Washington DC to New York City in general. 
So that's all that's open at the park as of now. There is a Lego Pirates area set to open in late 2021, along with a full-scale Legoland hotel. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with everything to do with Legoland New York. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button as it really helps the channel out a lot more than you think. Also, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. That's just insane. Thank you, everyone. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys out on the horizon. The Theme Park Horizons.